I cherish that experience and I always will. Um, I'm never going to make it to E. I'm realistic about my situation. So, um, but that's only, that's only really because of your age. Well, in fact, I can confirm that is only because of your age. Yeah, which is which is fine, and that's that's understandable. But it was it was it was it was brutal. Um, we were doing a lot of the moves on concrete with no padding. When I say moves, a lot of the rolls and, and the cardio and all that sort of stuff. So it was two days. The first day was pretty much all non-stop cardio and a lot of stair running up up and down Rod Laver Arena. Which Hang on, was, no no padding. And all, not even your little no, black crash we mats. Doing, uh, on the- we, were, we were doing um, push-ups and these these just put your legs over your head things and all that sort of stuff. So by the, I mean, this is not. I'm not exaggerating to try and sound tough here, but by the end of the two days, the lower half of my back was bleeding. So, um, but it was it was an experience that I would happily do again like it was just it was just fantastic so um, just to be in the ring like one being a WWE uh, WWE ring was just you know I fucking marked out how weird for other workers who have who haven't been in that big 20, 20, 20 by 20 square ring you know what I'm saying now that, what how does that feel the different ropes the bigger ring does the the actual um, padding underneath feel completely different and by I say by padding for folks who don't know about a ring I mean you know inch and a half half of uh, of foam how does that feel being in a different ring yeah i know look i mean it was all it was all pretty good I, to be honest with you i was probably too not nervous but concentrating on what i was doing so too much to worry about what the ring was feeling feeling like so and just doing whatever whatever bill told you to do we we did so um it was it was um and it was it was go 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 there was no stop so it was um we're doing this you get in the line you wait you and we just f- f- uh, filtered through so um but you know like out of that group um uh, jesse mckay and cassie um uh, Katie, Kat, 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 shit. Um, yeah, she got in. <laughs> Peyton Royce, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Peyton Royce. yeah, yeah. So, so the, um, those two got in out of the um, out of the trials, which is fantastic. And look where they are now. You know that. I mean, I think Australian wrestling. If you want to get into Australian wrestling, now is the best time to get into it. There's so much going on, and we have so much talent here. So much talent, and I think it's just starting to. Um, uh, come to cut like the cream is rising to the top now and and I don't know I just uh, I think if if you've ever thought about wanting to get into wrestling find yourself a good place within your state to do it seriously look for a good wrestling federation somewhere that they're going to train you properly and you're going to you're going to go places with um Sorry, go on. Don't, don't just look for a wrestling place because you figure off in two months you'll be on shows. Yeah, well, I, and don't just go for location either. I can tell you now, I have to drive an hour, an hour down and an hour back to training. G'day, it's Josh Armour from Wrestle Radio Australia. Join us every week on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio and FNX.network for interviews with great Aussie pro wrestlers like Triple A's Australian Suicide. I'm just really happy doing what I'm doing at the moment. Adam Brooks. Becoming the RCW champion, that, that really meant a lot. And great names from the States. Hey, this is the king of the mountain, Jeff Jarrett. Plus, more than 20 interviews on our YouTube channel. This is Brian Alvarez. This is Scrap Daddy himself, Scrap Brian Adam Pierce. A proud member of the FNX Network. It's Wrestle Radio Australia. Wrestle Radio Australia.